what's up guys welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to show you how can we flash or install lineage os 19.1 which is very latest for redmi 7 and redmi y3 and this is the first build which is based on android 12 so i'll show you and this is f2 fs file system so that's why we need to uh, flash this room in a different way not like as other room so follow my process and let me boot my device into recovery so so device booted into orange fox recovery you guys can see i'm using orange fox you guys can use uh, any other recovery but i don't recommend i recommend to use orange fox always so here is that now go to web section select dalby data cache system and then of course vendor then flash swipe to wipe and then wait when you are done just go to format data type yes as we are flashing a different file system so that's why you must do format data if you don't do then your device will not boot so reboot to recovery again so device booted into recovery now we need to flash the rom but before we flash the rom we need to change the file system so that we can easily install the rom and we can boot our device so go to the three dot option or menu whatever you say and then go to manage partition and then select data then ok and you guys can see here change fs just click here here is the fs just click on fs and what kind of file system we have we are flashing f2 fs file system so we need to select f2 fs not selecting x2 ext3 ext4 vfat xfat whatever we are going to flash f2fs so now select f2fs then swipe to change and formatting data now this is in f2fs format now navigate to the folder where we have story of lineage was 19.1 so here i have so this is a lineage os 19.1 you guys can see and really thanks to mr techno start and for doing this job uh, actually we are eagerly waiting for that build and really thanks to him so then we need to flash g apps because we uh, don't have g apps included in lineage os so that's why so click if you want to install one by one then you guys can do that if you want to install in one click then after selecting lineage os file then go to add to queue and then select your um nick gaps or flame gaps what you have but i recommend you to use the nick gaps so i am using here nick gaps go so selecting and now swipe to flash and wait until it get flashed Lineage is already flashed now installing the new gaps so wait for that so you guys can see both rom file and new gaps file both has have been flashed so now uh, you guys can reboot your system and if you want to root your device then of course you guys can uh, install uh, magix 24.2 or any modded magix no problem uh, I don't need to root right now, so that's why I'm going to reboot system. So device will boot very soon. Let me show you the boot animation. So here is the lineage OS boot animation that means our device is booting no issues with that so this is the way you guys can install any f2fs file system rom no problem and after completing setup i will do a short review of that rom so don't skip the video watch till the end 
so finally setup has been completed and I'm using this room for one day and I tested it a lot to uh, provide full review so let's let's get it started here is the about section and of course this is Android 12 and really capable kernel in included and very latest kernel 4.9.307 not 2.95 or 2.96 it's 3.07 Linux Plus and of course Android version 12 and Android security update March 5 very latest um, and vendor security of course March 5 so all are up to date so no problem with that and as it is vanilla build you guys need to install gapps separately and i already showed in the installation process and then we have system language and input we have aosp keyboard as it is vanilla build and you guys can install gboard no problem and buttons invert layout power menu end call long press torch and wake device answer a call control playback keyboard cursor control reorient and show panel on left and display volume panel on the left side let me show you uh, but it didn't work right now and click to partial screenshot if you want to take partial screenshot then just uh, short click on volume down and power button just short click and then you can take partial screenshot like this so this is the way you guys can take partial screenshot you know, which is uh, working fine and you guys can capture more like this if you click on capture more then you guys can uh, take full picture actually full screenshot and then you guys can take it save then we have system profiles as usual automobile uh, default silent and then we have system profiles then we have status bar and net network traffic and traffic indicator is not working right now as it is first build so wait for the next build to work it and then we have clock position you guys can change the clock position show uh, seconds auto hide EMPM style battery percentage battery status uh, uh, brightness slider auto brightness brightness control every necessary customizations are available here and here is the gesture of course we have gesture system navigation and if you want to enable uh, here it is present hold power button and one handed mode of course if you, you guys can use one handed mode uh, like this just do like this and you will, will able to use so this is the way you guys can use one handed mode and swipe up then we have here system navigation gesture navigation um, this is it nothing extra and swipe to invoke assistant then we have date and time backup updater multiple users as usual and as it is uh, lineage OS in lineage OS we don't have extra customization as necessary we got that only so google password and account safety and emergency and here is the privacy location security and of course here is the security uh, as it is first build so that's why we don't have any app lock and face unlock so we can expect this on next update so wait for that and we have of course the scramble layout that means every time your uh, when you are going to input your password it will be scrambled like this so this is it and you guys can see 0 to 8 5 6 every time it will be changed automatically this is the scramble layout so you guys can use that feature if you want to then we have accessibility as usual here is the text and display you guys can change your bold text color correction whatever you need you guys can use from here and extra dim option dark theme you guys can also change from there and wallpaper and style and we don't have uh, the new system like uh, themed icons that means monet engine is not available right now but for the next build but other things are working without any problem and here is the display section we have lock screen and here is the privacy section if you want um, if you don't want to show uh, your notification on lock screen then just click on that one don't show notifications at all so this is it and here is the text on lock screen if you want to add text on lock screen then you guys can add no problem and display music visualizer if you want music visualizer on uh, your lock screen then of course you guys can add no problem and double line clock 
you guys can also enable this one and show device controls and ambient display of course it will work if you want to use this one and wake up gesture and pick up pulse notification you guys can use this one this is cool feature and here is the dark theme and here is the font by default we have rubik nor serif and letter so uh, nothing extra and font size you guys can change and display size and icon shape i'm using here right now tapper rect and you guys can use the different one and rotation settings you guys can do no problem and double tap to wake double tap to sleep wake on flag everything is working i already checked so we have here then sound and which is great and storage battery then notifications apps and connected device here's the network and internet section as usual if you want to uh, change other things like call and sms you guys can check from here and if you want to check your sims then here is that you guys can check according to your choice like volti preferred network uh, cdma gsm only wcdm whatever you need you guys can uh, select so that's all and the most interesting thing is that um, i found this is really really butter smooth experience compared to android 11 lineage os that means lineage os 18.1 um, is not smoother than this one so i found this one is smoother than the 18.1 that means android 12 is uh, much faster and smoother than android 11 so here is the animation which is very quick and very smooth which just amazing amazing you guys can can believe this is really really amazing and of course you guys can join on telegram and of course instagram no problem and i um, play call of, uh, not call of duty pubg mobile and you guys can use modules 90 fps modules and you guys will be able to uh, play great a great great way no problem with that pubg mobile and here is the gallery application and then we have next level smoothness next level just next level smoothness you guys can use and here is the gcam which is very latest uh 18.4 from the uh, from shamim and which is really great and modern engine is working in that gcam and which is working without any issue you guys can easily use that gcam on your daily life no problem and i will uh, provide a video separate video on that gcam of course so stay connected for that and here is the play store i'm using you guys can need gaps you guys can use and uh, you guys will get the link in description and built-in music player we have here and we will get that audio fx you guys can enable this this one reverb and audio fx whatever you need you guys can enable no problem with that so you guys can uh, set it to normal classical dance flat and folk whatever heavy metal you need you guys can actually enable this one while listening to music and this is the important things now i just want to share with you people and which is lineage OS never pass the safety net by default so you guys need to follow uh, the root method to pass the safety net and i have already provided that video how you guys can uh, that was too early very old video i will i provided you guys can follow that video to pass the safety net if you want to use that room then and really very smooth and we don't have latest widget section uh, right now because uh, this is the first build but from next build we will get everything no issues with that and we have the home settings that means a launcher which is uh, normal google launcher no issues with that and then we have wallpaper and style you guys already know about that you guys can have a dark theme and we have so many toggles here like flashlight and wi-fi everything is working without any problem and here is the screen recorder you guys can record the screen uh, device audio microphone device audio and microphone both what you need you guys can uh, enable and here is the ambient display you guys can just directly enable and disable from the notification toggle and here is the auto rotate option battery saver and extra dim everything is working without any problem and which is 
really but a smooth experience and i don't want to waste your time by showing uh, the geekbench scores and the cpu throttling because this is really capable and uh, kernel and the uh, rom so you guys will get better performance and battery backup let's talk about this one and this is really cool battery backup is great no issues with that as android 11 this is great about one day 22 hour left so battery uses is here uh, one day three hour ago I charged and I did I'm just using it uh, from 82% maybe I'm not sure about that and here is that graph you guys can see the next level of smoothness is here so this is it I hope you guys understand the video and if you like that work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching